Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another 7 days to die guide. Do you know some cool mod that you really wanted to check out but you don't know how to install it? Well today I'm going to show you how to install a mod. So let's get right in. So in order to install a mod, first you need to download one. Simply googling will show you there are quite a few sites you can download mods from. I usually download mods from the official 7 days to die forum. Simply scroll down and pick a mod from the list that you like. For example, the Val mod pack. This mod is one of the most popular and it overhauls gameplay as well as adding a custom user interface. Scroll down and you will find the download link. Most of these mods already have how to install instructions, but if you are still confused, I will visually show you how to do it. When you download a mod from the site, open up your Steam library page and find 7 days to die on the list. When you do, right click it and go into properties, local files, browse local files. Now open the mod folder you downloaded and folder within and from here it's just drag and drop. If you like the user interface of the mod and you don't want anything else, go into data and then config folders on both Valmod and 7 days to die folder. In here you simply drag XUI folder which is user interface and you can call it a day. Simply overwrite when asked. Fire up your game and you should have your brand new user interface. But if you want the whole package go all the way back and highlight data and mods folder as well as the rest of the files that are not instruction files and simply drag and drop to 7 days to die folder. Make sure to overwrite when asked. If there are any other mods the developer has like this bigger backpack mod, simply open it and inside you will find folders that you need to drag and drop. Make sure to read notes first, using this mod will break easy anti-cheat and should only be used with anti-cheat turned off and when playing single player. After you installed your mod, enter the game. Now mod like this is an overhaul mod and it's best used on the new world, but there are mods that you can use on your existing save, like user interface mods. Make a new world or continue your existing one and then join your mod. Alright guys, I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, I would appreciate if you liked the video. Tell me in the comments what guide you want to see next. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss on future ones. And that is all for this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.